All right, we're back for part two of our dark wing build here, or the bat wing. It's a 70 millimeter EDF jet. When we left off, we made our, uh, cut out our template for our dihedral. I glued it onto another piece of foam. Here's where we connected our two pieces of foam together in the beginning. We clear taped with some box tape from front to back. We flipped it back over. We, we shot hot glue in the front. When this was splayed open, we ran a bead of hot glue all the way down it. And we hurt and sat it in our little jig here to get our dihedral. So that's where we're just picking up from where we left off. So once we did that, we got our dihedral set. I'm going to take put that off to the side. Now I want to move on to cutting out my elevons. So I'll go back to my plans here. And this is why I kept one side of the fuselage on here. I didn't want to cut into this piece. So I just made the right side of the fuselage and left out of one piece. So now I'm just going to come back here and cut off this elevon. Going to use this one elevon to make both of ours. Get this tape off here. Like so. All right, now we can put that off to the side. Let's go ahead and mark out for our elevons here. I'm just going to line this up with the top. Line it up on here. like so. Over here grab a pen. I'm just going to mark all my corners. Again I'm just marking all the corners. Now we can pull this off here. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Sure it's on there nice and right. Right where it belongs. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark all these corners on there. Alright, now let's connect the dots here with a ruler. I'll go ahead and use this ruler. I'm just gonna go back and Connect these marks we made. Like so. Take care of this side. All my jets I build are hinged from the top, so that means your hinge line is going to be on the top with your tape. We'll cut the 45 out of the back. Go ahead and mark all this. All right, now we'll come in here with our uh, straight razor. I'm gonna cut these elevons out. What I'm gonna do is put this on the line. I'm going to cut out a 45 toward the front of the jet. Just like so. Go ahead and hit this side. Again, we're doing a 45 toward the front of the bat wing here. Get right to your line. Now just straight cut these pieces in the back. There we got our left side. 
Go ahead and cut our right off. Just like so. We're gonna go back here and 45 this backward. Just like that. Do both pieces. Gonna set it on our line. Just do a back cut 45 into this, cut, trim off this piece. So we're sticking another 45 degree cut in there. Seem to get all the way through on that first cut. All right, so now we got our elevons for the back. I'm gonna take and trim off a little extra of this here. It'll give us a little extra room to play with putting these back on here. Again, I'm just taking like half of a sixteenth off of these, just to trim them up nice. That way when I put them back on, I got some room there. I ain't gonna be rubbing. I'll go ahead and use my X-Acto knife. Just like so, guys. All right, now we're gonna use some box tape to put these on. Come over here and grab our box tape. Go ahead and line these back up. Again, may leave yourself a little room for, so you have some room to bend. Go ahead and cut this to the size I think I'm going to need. Again, I got my elevon. Set it where I want it. That's a little in the butt to get these on here. So I got it set where I want. Go ahead and apply my clear tape. And as you can see we got a hinge line there. come back here and trim off any of this clear tape that goes past. All right, and you always want your clear tape to run up to where your servo or your uh, control horn is going to mount in here. And it'll beef up this area with the clear tape too. Let's go ahead and put both sides on real quick. I never use that hinge tape that they sell. I mean, I've never had a Elevon come off during flight. Go ahead and line up your Elevon where you want it. Go ahead and apply your tape. Don't worry, we'll go back and we're gonna we're gonna spray paint this with some flat black anyway, so you won't, you're not even gonna see a lot of this tape. I'm gonna pass a little bit here, let me trim off this. Go. go ahead and trim off anything that ran over the edge. Trying to do a nice job here because this is going to be my bat wing. All right, now we'll go back to the back back here. And we're just going to add a couple of small pieces of box tape to the back. I'm not really caring for that piece. This box tape here is pretty strong. So well, I'm just going to use my scissors to trim these up. So again, I'm going to go to the back here and add a couple of pieces to the back. This is 
going to add some strength to our hinge surface. Just go in there like that. I'll add another piece. Again, I'm going to put this piece where the control horn is going to be. Go ahead and open it up. Push it on there. There you go, guys. I've never had an Elevon come off doing it this way. So there we got our hinge line. Let's go ahead and take care of this other side. Same thing here. Take and apply your tape. Get a little funky there. Let's get one more. Side there. Again, I got my tape right where my control horn is going to be mounted through. Make sure you apply your tape. Get it on there nice. All right, now that we got our Elevons cut, we're going to go ahead and create the airfoil on our front of our wing. Again, we'll just come back here with our plans. As you can see, this was the this was the front leading. You see where I got score this line, but you got to score it from the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this right on the score line. And this is, we're going to create an airfoil. So now that's the top of your jet. We want to flip it over. Put this on the bottom. Line it up real nice. Just go in here and mark with your pen. Just mark on the corners. Go ahead, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Line your plans up real nice. Go ahead and mark it. Now we'll go back in here with the ruler. Connect these lines. Again, this is we're gonna be making our airfoil off these lines. And this is on the bottom of your jet. Alright, so there's our lines that we just created. Now we're gonna score these with a razor knife. I just take my ruler, and my razor knife, and I'm just going to score this. Again, don't cut all the way through, guys. We're just scoring it. Just like so. Come back in here with my X-Acto and score it down a little further. You don't want to force this apart, you just want to make sure you got a nice score in it. There we go. And again, be sure that you don't cut all the way through, you guys. Alright. Come over here and get my little poker stick. Now I got this little poker stick here, I mean it's just a sharp pointy object. I'm gonna run it down through here a little bit. Just like so. I wanna get this airfoil right where I want it. Here's where we got our template to set our airfoil. 
you can see it's not very much. I'm going to stick it right where it belongs here and just pull it down to it. I don't want to create a lot of airfoil because I, I want to still keep the speed. So now that I went ahead and did that, I'm not even going to use the template. I, I already know where it's at. Go back in here. Fold this up on itself a little. And I'm going to wipe off this excess glue. Right there, you guys. I'm just getting barely any airfoil there. Just hold that till it sets. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. As you can see, your the tip of your wing front leading edge should almost line up with the where the fuselage is here so that's what I'm looking for just to line those two pieces up you can see how even that one is here you can see where this one needs to come up to meet with this let's go ahead and score this side score this side again make sure you guys don't cut all the way through I'll go back with my exacto knife and finish this up like so. Back in here with my poker stick and it's that little bend in there. All right, the same thing we did to the other side. Open it up, get some glue in there. I always put a little extra hot glue that way I can fold it up and just wipe this off. Sometimes that glue can be a little hot but uh been doing it for so long it don't even hurt my fingers no more all right you just want to set this one the same as the other side like I said I already know pretty much what kind of airfoil I'm looking for here so I don't need to use the template There we go, you guys. You see they're both angled down slightly in the front. They kind of meet up real nice with the nose. Both sides. So there's our airfoil. It's just like the micro bat wing too. Same way we created those airfoils on that. It'll give us a lot of lift. All right, now our next step, we are gonna install our EDF unit, which is gonna mount somewhere in this general area. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna find where this mounts. And it's pretty simple. I'll go back to my plans we cut out. All you wanna do is line up the leading edge here with the bottom of your bat bat ears this is the top that we cut out for our jet just gonna line it up here you can see we have the front of our EDF unit which is nine inches from the bottom of the ears front of the fuselage here 
9 inches to the front of your EDF unit. Which is going to sit right there. Again, it's 9 inches. So let me go ahead and mark this. Just going to make two lines on both sides. That'll give us our 9 inches there. Now I see where my marks are. I'm going to just make a couple of lines. Now an easy way to cut on cut your EDF unit into this to get this dimension. I'll show you what I did here. All I did was take another exact same foam cup. It's the exact same foam cup. And I just took and cut it exactly in half. Now we're just going to go ahead and place this in the front of your foam cup. You want it right with this line. And you also want to center your foam cup real nice where it belongs. Just like so. I'll come back in here with a pen. And this will give us our exact exact cut we need here. Go ahead and make sure your foam cup don't move around on you. Just drawing some faint lines here. Alright, so once we cut that out, this is going to fit down in there real nice. Let's just go ahead and, you know, at the back here, I'm just going to straight cut it for now, and then I'll show you how to cut out to make it to where your air passes over it real nice. Right now, I'm just looking to straight cut that. Now, in the front of your EDF unit, you want to go probably like a quarter inch, I'm guessing. Let's see here, I'll get my inch out here. Well, you know what? We're going to go a half an inch in front. You're going to line the ruler up with your front of your EDF unit. We're going to go, let's go three quarters of an inch. It's going to be right there. Let's go ahead and make some lines. So we want to make sure that fan is going to clear all this foam. Go ahead and mark some lines here. And again, this is going to create a little pocket here so that when your air is being sucked in and through the EDF unit, if this is out of the way and it ain't creating no turbulence in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and freehand this out. I'm going to use a ruler. Just going with my X-Acto knife. I'm going to cut right on the lines we traced out out of our half a cup we cut in half here I do it like this so you guys can't really go wrong you know you don't want to overcut your exhaust tube here and then it won't fit in there correctly go ahead and straight cut this back now we're going to cut this. I'm going to do a little 45 toward the front of the jet. You just can do whatever you want. You can straight cut them if you want, but I like to give that little 45, especially in the front here. Alright. See what I missed here. There it is guys, we just traced out our half of a foam cup that we cut exactly in half. Now we'll be able to 
put our EDF unit down in here where we're going to want it. Just like so, you guys. That way you get a nice, tight fit. That actually looks really good. On, the, on this bat wing, I'll tend to leave more of the exhaust hanging out the bottom than the top. So I just drop the EDF unit down, maybe about a quarter of an inch. I mean, it, it's not really going to matter. I guess you could center it if you want, but I like to leave more of this open down here to suck that air in. All right, so now that we got that sitting there, we're going to go ahead and mount it in there. Now you just want to make sure it's nice and straight. So your thrust tube ain't pointing up or down. And this one actually looks really good right where it is. I might just want to come up just a hair. Just a hair in the front here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hot glue mine down in there. It's right where I want it. So let's take some hot glue from the top here. Go ahead and some, run some hot glue down both sides. Again, make sure your exhaust tube is nice and straight. Looks real good. Alright. Now again, you guys, it was 9 inches. To the bottom of your ears right here. To your exhaust, your exhaust tube or your EDF unit right to the front of it. There you see it, nine inches to the bottom of the ears, right to the front. So make sure you got that measurement before you go sinking your EDF unit on there. All right, that should be dried up enough to go ahead and flip it over. I'm going to go ahead and hit the underside too. Looks good. Pretty good, you guys. So wait for that to set up for a second. Wait for that glue to dry up a little bit, you guys. All right, now we can go ahead and start assembling some of these pieces. Just want to scrap out of the way. All right, now you guys can opt to make the top that I'm sending with the plans, which is going to be these two canopy pieces that sit up here. They're just going to resemble a canopy, and we'll make a little air intake on it. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side for now. Like I said, this is the one that you can opt to use this on your PDF plans or you can go with what I like to do. Here I cut out